Hello YouTube, it's Chris Hama, and here I have from the Frame Arms Girl line, the Jinrai kit. Um, I really, really, really enjoy the Frame Arms Girl um, you know, mobile suits, or I guess, not mobile suits, but um, the figures, kits, models, whatever you want to call them. Um, I think they're really, really well made. Um, I, I think the designs are, are fantastic. I, I love the... The combination of like you know cutesy anime girl uh, mixed with like mech kind of armor, uh, I just think it's a really really cool concept. And uh, already build, uh, already have built two. Um, I'm really just hooked on it. So this is the next one I decided to go ahead and build. Um, this is going to be a straight build. Uh, however, the next one I'm going to be building, I'm actually painting that one. So. Um, I'm actually gonna be doing a lot of customization to that one as well. So this one probably gonna be one of the last of the uh, straight build frame arms girls, uh, and I think I'm just gonna start painting from now on. Uh, but we'll go ahead and see. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and do an unboxing. Uh, so just looking at the front like art cover, it looks pretty cool. I know there's like two different versions, either two or three different versions of this one. Uh, I think this might be the normal one. Uh, then there's like another color version, um, but it looks pretty cool. Basically just like a, a ninja girl and everything. Um, retail for 4,300 yen uh, but you know I, I was like I, I really didn't want to pay that when I, when I first saw this I, I saw it somewhere else I think like maybe um, I think Yamada Dinky or no not Yamada Dinky they don't even carry these it was a store somewhere and uh, I was like no I'm, I'd rather just go somewhere else and I found it I think over at um, uh, Neverland over at um, uh, Adeon so found it for 3,400 yen Great price. Uh, looking on the side of the box, um, basically you see a whole bunch of the like ninja armor. Um, looks really, really dope to be honest. Uh, comes with a whole bunch of different, different hands, um, like pretty much they all do. Uh, the gimmick, I guess, for this one as well as like most of them, uh, they pretty much carry like the armor or like a stocking pretty much on the way. Like, I I'm not really in interested in that pose at all. Um, and then here you see all, I guess these are all the weapons that's going to be coming with it, or at least I really, really hope these are all the weapons, because, uh, that sickle, um, or I guess like, yeah, pretty much a sickle, uh, or, um, pickaxe, uh, looks really, really dope, so I'm very interested to go ahead and build that. And then right here, uh, you just see it, on, uh, pretty much non-painted, so it looks pretty normal. Um, obviously I'm not doing too much painting on mine, I'm just going to go ahead and do some details, uh, but overall it's going to look pretty decent. And then over here, just one side of it. Uh, and then over here, you see it comes with different uh, types of uh, expressions for the faces. And it also comes with uh, water slides. So that's gonna be pretty dope. Um, but that's pretty much it for this. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. So in total, there's seven different colors that's gonna be on this kit. Uh, not including like the eyes and you know all the other like more intricate colors that you gotta maybe paint on. Uh, but as far as like runners, there's to a total of seven different uh, colors. Um, now before I start getting into each individual uh, runner, I uh, just want to let y'all know I, I understand this is the third unboxing of a Frame Arms Girl kit and there's no reviews yet. Um, tomorrow I will be doing the review for the Architect. I just want to get all the, um, the Gundam stuff out of the way first. Um, so I was like, alright, once I got all the Gundam stuff, now I can actually start doing more like reviews as I'm building. So um, as I'm building this one, I'll be able to get the, the Architect one done. I can go ahead and review um, the other girl that I, I the house bringer or whatever. I'll get her reviewed and um, pretty much be right on track. Uh, but anyways, so this is like a very uh, dark pink. It's, it's, it's a pretty dark pink. It's not very, very bright, uh, but it's going to be for the arms and legs, which looks pretty cool. And you're going to have this uh, runner E, which is going to be for, uh, looks like it's going to be for the body if I'm not mistaken, so uh, just one little tiny runner just for the body. And runner G, which is going to be uh, more pink for like, pretty much like legs, maybe arms and everything. It looks like it's going to be a lot of parts for the arms and legs, uh, but yeah, some pink right here. And you have runner J, which is going to be more parts for random places on the body. And here is runner L, which is going to be yellow, uh, obviously going to be for the hair. And you're also going to have runner D, which is going to be for the hair as well. Okay, moving on to this nameless runner. I'm pretty sure this is, um, I don't know if this is possibly from maybe one of their extra like uh, weapon sets. Uh, that's probably why it doesn't have a, a name, but um, it says... MW34, which could be like Mechanical Weapons 34, uh, but overall this is going to be the one of the silver runners uh, for the weapons. 
And you do get two more, which this one's gonna be pretty dope. I love this. I didn't even know she had a sword, uh, but she does have a sword, and that's like really, really kick-ass to be honest. And then she's gonna have this. Uh, this looks like a like a bow and arrow, or not obviously not bow and arrow, but like a, a bow uh, type bladed weapon, because these are obviously gonna be the blades. And then this is gonna be part to maybe create the uh, the giant sickle or the pickaxe. So that looks pretty dope as well. But I'm actually pretty excited that she actually has a sword. That's dope. And moving on to the black runners, uh, you're gonna get two F uh, runners. These are pretty much gonna be your joints uh, right here for the legs as well for uh, probably these are poly calves. These are parts for the arms uh, as well. And you have a small uh, runner W for uh, more little poly calves. These are obviously gonna be for the wrist. Runner H, which is gonna be parts for the legs. And runner E, these are going to be more uh, very glossy black parts, which is going to be uh, for the stocking, like, well, I guess it's going to be for the leg, and this is going to be uh, the stocking right here. And, uh, you're all, all, yeah, you're going to have a little blade right here. Uh, this is going to be the other, like, arm that's pretty much going to be holding uh, the stocking uh, right there. So, I think this... This is like a very generic runner, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, because the architect had a very, very... Actually, had the same exact uh, runner uh, just like this. And here are the flesh tone colors. Uh, these are going to be parts for the body, the legs, and any other kind of joints that exposes uh, any of the um, like the flesh tone colors. Runner C, which is going to be more of the uh, same color, and it's going to be for the legs as well as any other kind of joints. Then you're going to get a soft rubber polycap sheet right here, and then you're going to have more joints uh, right here. Here you're gonna have like more of a, uh, a dark red. Uh, well, I guess it's actually more of like a maroon. Uh, but it looks like these are gonna be, um, I don't know what these parts are for. Probably the legs and just some of that uh, extra armor that's gonna be on the uh, the outside. And here's more of that maroon. Uh, this looks, this, I think this is gonna be that forearm. Um, it's like a, a like a Gatling gun rifle thing, uh, but this is this should be uh, one of the parts that attaches to that. And I think these are just some parts. These are for probably legs. This is going to be for the the chest, I think, and then this is going to be for the top of the forehead. Um, but we'll go ahead and see whenever we get it all together. And the last main runner is going to be Runner K. This is actually more of a gray. It's kind of coming off black on the. Uh, on the camera, but this is gonna be for any kind of like more mechanical stuff. So you got stuff for the feet right there. It looks like, uh, actually I have no idea what this part is. Um, I don't know what all these are for, but it looks like maybe that's for the waist, but these are definitely the uh, feet right up here. And you're gonna have some pre-painted stuff. So this is gonna be for the collar, this little white part right here. Uh, and then these are going to be for the uh, buttocks. And then this is gonna be for the, mm, and you're gonna get some different like, uh, expressions uh, for the faces, which are pre-painted. So you get kind of like a screaming, a very boring, mute looking one. Uh, this one's looking to the left, I don't know why. Uh, and then this one is looking to the right. So <laughs> uh, you're gonna get these little hands. And you get a bunch of hands, so uh, yeah, the same kind of hands you always get. And you get a nice little water slide uh, decal sheet, so I'm going to definitely use all of these because I'm not going to be painting it, so I don't, I'm not going to feel like I'm wasting them. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be using all of them, except for the eyes because I don't really need to paint this kit, so I don't need to paint over the face. And lastly, you're going to get the uh, instruction manual. You get this little... I guess it's like if you're missing a piece or something, you can kind of mail that in. Uh, but you do get just kind of like some information. It does show. Oh, so it's like a, a older shoulder cannon. I, I could have sworn I saw it mounted on the forearm though. But I guess it's going to be a over over the shoulder cannon. Here's all the runners listed right here. All the instructions. Uh, this is not going to be a long kit to build. And then you're going to have all the weapons. Looks like it's going to be weapon stuff right there. And then that nice little pose where she's holding the, the stocking. Um, and then this is going to be the decal locations as well as... Oh, see, there it is. So it is going to be mounted on the forearm. I knew I wasn't crazy. And then you're going to have these... Oh, you're going to have like little things to mount your blades. That is dope. Okay, so I'm just kind of getting a little excited. Because um, I, I just love the way this looks. So I love, the little, I love ninja stuff. So... Um, this is going to be a pretty cool looking kit. I should have this, I'm, I'm probably going to have this built by the end of next week because obviously y'all know the Real Grey Tall Geese and uh, the Grimoire uh, Red Beret is coming out this Friday. I'm buying those two. Uh, the Tall Geese is probably going to take me a couple of days. The Grimoire is going to take me one day and I should have those reviews. Those, those reviews are coming first so just expect this to be done by next week. But then to be reviewed probably not this weekend 
for the next weekend. So it's gonna be a little bit, but hey, hang in there. Uh, but overall, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Definitely rate, comment, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and I'll see you on the next review. See you later, guys. Bye bye.